Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gessie and today I'm going to be putting together the pages for Catherine Parr in my commonplace notebook. For the last month or so, I have been documenting the lives of Henry VIII wives and I am right now doing the last one, wife number six, Catherine Parr. The way that I set up my pages is very similar to everything that I put in my commonplace notebook. I start by adding this sticker sheet to my pages. I just love the look of this craft paper on my cream color pages. I think it gives it, I say it time and time again, this vintage look. And that's what I'm looking for because I am telling the story or I should say documenting the story of a woman that lived in the 1500s. So I want it to look vintagey. So that's what you're going to see me here that I'm going to add the her name to the paper and put it on top. What I was trying to do before was to stamp the name of the person that I was documenting straight to my book but my book is getting bulky and the stamping is not the greatest so I have decided just to stamp the name on the sticker sheet outside of not outside but instead of on the notebook Okay, now that I have the title of my pages down, which is Catherine Parr, now it's time just to put down the pictures and information that I have collected about Catherine Parr's story. This pictures and information was collected from online, and this is the way that I do to learn and just capture more about the information that I'm doing. After I collect everything, I put it in a Word document, pictures, and also the wording um, of the research that I've done. Once I'm done with that, I print everything on sticker paper. The pictures I print on white sticker paper, and then the research itself I print on clear sticker paper because I love the way it looks. I use the font Book Antigua, and on a size, the font size is size 10, and sometimes I use size 9, but for this pages I use size 10. My sticker for the white one doesn't have the slit on the back. So what I do is I use my cutting uh, mat and my little sacto knife and then I just make my little, little slit myself and then I'm able to peel off the backing of my picture easily. One thing that I love doing as I am working through my pages is adding different um, embellishments that's what I'm calling it to my pages and that will be in the form of adding more sticker paper in the craft color stamps and other little things that is going to make my pages look the way that I want them to look I know that People learn in a different way, but this process of sitting down and just putting things to paper and it's just so refreshing. And it's not just this part. I think I also enjoy a lot the research part because I learn so much when I'm doing the research for each individual that I write about in my commonplace notebook. If you would like to start your own commonplace notebook, I encourage you to start and just do the commonplacing however you want it. Commonplacing is a place where you just add all the things that you are learning in quotes, lyrics, anything that is of inspiration to you that you want to have in one place. That's what it is a commonplace notebook. It's a commonplace 
to add your knowledge. As I'm finishing my pages, I want to give you thanks because you guys have made March and February the best in my channel. I have um, gained so many new friends and I know I'm a very small channel, but I'm still very excited every time someone subscribes and follows and comments and it just makes me feel really good and just I enjoy making these videos and the fact that you guys can find inspiration is so refreshing. I know the world out there is pretty daunting right now so if you can just find a way to escape for a little bit and just find inspiration and try something new for me that's a win so thank you so much for watching i'm gonna leave a little bit of my process here and i will see you on the next one thanks bye mm -hmm.